video. Shalom, shalom. Sorry I'm out late. I really apologize, man. I really do. Things happen, man. You know what I mean? But I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. I had it down so low. Bring it up a little bit. Praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the visible scattered abroad. Your brothers of Karkasai coming to you with another lesson. Okay, and I'm going to bring it out. This is uh, through, the, uh, through the spirit, you know, I wrote, I wrote down a few notes. Uh, Big bro shopping tell us, uh, write down some notes. Just in case you don't want to be babbling. But you know, I took a I took a long time getting out here due to the situation, you know. We don't have to go through all that, but you know, now I'm here and I want to bring out the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So we're gonna go into pretty much man. Yo, know, Jake, man, you need to wake up, man. There still might be, even though the elder apostles are hard, he said he thinks that the elder, that the elect are already sealed. Okay, but you know, we still need to work. We still need to work and preach repentance to our people. Because our people need to wake up from this dark sleep that they've been in in, in Babylon the Great, man. This deep, dark sleep under the so-called white man he saw you know, he saw you know, Sirach 12. And I'll start here at 10. And it says, Never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness. His wickedness is always going to be there. Okay, you can't get away from that. Okay, going back to the book of Genesis, right? When it says, uh, I will put enmity. Enmity between the serpent seed and thy seed. You got plenty of scriptures. Okay? When, when the scriptures tell you that two nations are in thy womb, two different nations, one to rule over another. So it's always going to be beat. Okay? Whatever. 
over that black stuff got on the uh, person or whatever, and it and it and it and it, uh, and it came across their whole body and it just swallowed them up whole. Man. That's how sin is to our people. Therefore, the Lord has His prophets out here prophesying on the highways and the hedges to bring you out of that dark and into the light. But we have to understand that Jake is not going to get it. A lot of Jake are cut off from the Lord. And they're going to trust in their enemy. And they're going to trust in the pressure. They're going to trust in all these things that are against them, man. They're going to trust in everything that's against the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. So let's go back. Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Okay? So is his wickedness. He, he'll act like he's friends with you. He'll act like everything's cool, but when they go home at night, when they're teaching their children, they teaching their children to stay away from you, Negroes, Latinos, they pray. They teaching their children to hate you. Why do you think racism still exists? It's because God made racism. The Lord is a racist. The Lord don't like everybody. He said that he only loves Israel. Okay, let's pull up a scripture on that. What do you, what do you say? He, he accounted the other nations as spittle. Okay. So salvation is only for the true Jews, okay? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is 2nd Edges chapter 6. 2nd Edges chapter 6. And I'll start at 55. I'll start at 54. And it reads, and after these, Adam also, who thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who's the people that the Lord chose? The Israelites. All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Verse 56. As for the other people, the other people, the other nations, as for the other people, which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. To be like unto spittle. What's spittle? Okay? Your spit. A little bitty drop compared to the ocean. Check this out. But be like unto spittle. And has likened the abundance of them, the other nations. The abundance of them, the other nations. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, unto a drop. The Lord ain't dealing with no other nation besides Israel. Okay? So we are here to preach repentance to Israel. And hopefully it hopes that our people will wake up from this dark, dark world, man. And get back on the right track. So you have about should be have a shot, man. Okay? Because this place is through. This place won't last another 10 years, man. It ain't, it ain't. You don't see it. None of you see it in your eyes. This stuff is over with. 401ks, all your pool crap plans. It's over with. You better get closer to the Lord. Because you might not make it to tomorrow, man. You better get close to the Lord. Because the Lord is doing things in this earth, man. Okay? The Lord is clearly showing you through his signs I mean there was an eclipse not too long ago right that's a sign from the Lord going back to the book of Genesis let's go to Genesis real quick this is the book of Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 and it reads and God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let there be let them be for signs. So let the lights in the firmament be for signs, right? And for seasons. And for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven 
to give light unto the earth, and it was so. And Most High Yahweh made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and Most High set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. So he, he set these lights and he set these different si these signals. He's trying to talk to you through his signals, through his signs, man. You have all types of earthquakes happening in the earth. You got famines, pestilences, COVID-19, all this stuff happening in the earth. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, they might take the video down. Okay, but we ain't got nothing to lose here. Okay, we tired of your bull crap. We tired of this Esau Edom shit, man. The Lord is coming. Either you're going to repent or you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, the Lord is the one that kills and makes a lie. The Lord is the one that does it. Every time a death happens, every time somebody gets sick, every time somebody gets healed, the Lord did it, man. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter, let me see. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39. And it reads, and this is the most high speaking. Okay, for all you people that think that God don't kill. You think that God's a, a teddy bear, like he's going to give you a big hug. Like everything's going to be all right. You can just keep on sinning and keep on doing what you want to do until the Lord comes. No, that's not how the Lord works, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. So the Lord said it, that I kill, I make alive. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. Your whole life resolves around what the Lord wants, man. Okay, so you should be putting yourself in position to please the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. Not Jesus, okay, the letter J wasn't created until 1524. And for all you people, oh, we can call him whatever we want, okay? Guess what? Say that you went to a high school and your kids went to it after you 20 years later. And they seen your picture, you were a black man, but on your picture it was a white man. And it said your name up under there. And your kids came home to you and they were like, Dad, why does your name say this but your picture is white? It does matter. It does matter what color he is, man. Okay? Why does my dad's picture look like a white man but my dad is a black man? Why? Because Esau, Edom, the government, these people who rule the world, they want to cut you off from being a nation, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelite tribes. They want to call you Spanish. They want to call you Mexican. They want to call you a Negro. But in all reality, you are the children of Israel, man. Suffering curses in this dry and decrepit land called America. This place is so dry, ain't no water in this place. Ain't no hope for these people unless they got the Lord, man. What hope do you have? Oh, you want to plan for a vacation. You want to save up your 401ks and you want to do this and you want to do that. Don't you know that tomorrow's not promised for you? By the fact, the next five minutes not promised to me. Anything can happen. And guess what? Who did it? The Lord did it, man. So, so you people better be turning your life onto the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Or he gonna turn up on your front steps. You looking at the end here. The, the dollar is crashing. Financial instability. Food shortages all across America. Little kids living in the woods with their parents because they're homeless. Little children. So you gonna have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice out here, man. The Lord ain't playing with you people no more. The Lord is clearly visiting the earth, man. He's clearly making inquisition. The 
Lord is clearly making it convincing. Everything that's happening in the earth is a sign as to the Lord's coming. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 24 and let's prove that, man. What did the Lord say in Matthew chapter 24? Right? St. Matthew chapter 24. Let me pull it up. Because it's about repentance. It's about turning from your old way. It's about getting right with the Lord right now, man. Because the Lord is going to destroy this place. America, just like all the other countries, all the other empires in the whole world, all the other history they told you about, this place has an end date. An end date, man. An end date. What do you want to do after that? What are you going to be? You going to die with America? Or are you going to get right with the Lord? You have about Jimmy shot? Because the Lord is going to destroy this place because of its continuous iniquity and sin that's stacked up on top of Hey, the Lord coming down to visit this place like he did Solomon Gomorrah, man. He coming down to visit him, man. Making inquisition for the saints. For them who cry and sigh for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. This place is an abomination. They push all types of abomination on your children. Your children got to watch TV, then all of a sudden two men are kissing, man. What if you don't want to let your kids watch that, but they push it on your kids? Because these people are freaking evil, man. You got to get right with the Lord. What if you don't want to watch two men kissing? What if you don't want to watch two women kissing? What if you're trying to raise your household to be a whole household holy unto the Lord? Well, you can't do that here in America. Everything America pushes is against the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Everything this place pushes is against the God of the Bible. But you people say that you're Christians and you love the Lord, but you accept all this wickedness, man. The Lord is going to visit you for that, man. You better choose a side. Matthew 24. Now start at verse 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Every single day, what you hear? Wars and rumors of wars. This is written in red letter in St. Matthew chapter 24. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Ukraine, Russia, Iran, North Korea, South Korea. War, 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 war. All day on the internet, on the news. That's all you're hearing, man. You think America can't get touched with nuclear warheads? Oh, that defense system in Israel was supposed to be tight, wasn't it? But them bombs came through that motherfucker, didn't they? Y'all better get right with the Lord. When you see missiles coming from Russia in the sky and they send your cell phone a text that says you got 30 minutes to get to a safe destination. What are you going to be doing in your mind? What are you going to be? Are you going to be trying to pray to the Lord then? He ain't going to answer you, man. 30 minutes to get to shelter, man. This is what we're looking forward to right now. This is in the midst of war, man, in which all these buildings that you see are going to be turned into ashes and dust. What side are you on? You better choose a side. Either you're on the Lord's side or you're going to get right up with this place, man. Okay? Thus saith the Lord God, and his name is Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. It ain't no Jesus Christ, man. His name is Yahweh. And he has me out here preaching in the midst of all this evil and wickedness to hopefully wake up some people, to hopefully have mercy on some people. The Lord is showing mercy by having his prophets out here. Because before the prophets come out, when they come out, then you know that something is about to happen, man. The Lord always sends his prophets. Okay? Let's go to here. I'm going to get into the lesson. 
I ain't even got to my lesson yet. This is a book of Joshua chapter 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. You better make a choice, man. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, man. Okay? You better make a choice. You can't be halfway in and halfway out. One foot in the truth and one foot out. The Lord going to require that, man. The Lord ain't letting shit slide. Ain't nothing going to slide. Ain't nothing going to get past nothing, man. I shut up. The angels of the you Lord. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, man. This is holy ground. You get the hell out of here. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. I don't give a fuck who you is. Shut up. In the name of the Lord, you how about you? My fucking house, boy. Hey, hey, every time Get I come your ass here, on my block. these motherfucking demons Get the fuck out of here. fucking got something to say. Shut up. But the Lord got something to say about this shit. Lord gonna fuck these people up. Guarantee you that. I ain't got to raise a hand. In the name of the Lord, slay all these motherfuckers, man. Every single one of them. Ah, uh, nah. Boy, don't play with me, young man. Old ass man, you're gonna turn to a little kid again, fucking with somebody like me. Smash your whole shit to the ground, bro. Okay? Your whole shit. Lord ain't playing with you people, man. Y'all play too much. That's the thing with Americans, they play too much. They wanna talk too much. Wanna play on Instagram and TikTok too much. All this too much shit, man. Everybody gonna get burnt with that fire, man. Okay? Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Choose yourself. You better choose yourself. You better make sure, man, you serve the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Rather than other gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood are the gods of the Amorites whom in whose land ye dwell but as for me in my house we will serve the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai choose you this day okay a lot of y'all playing the fence man and like my elder from uh uh uh, uh from alabama what do you say a lot of y'all playing the fence and y'all gonna get destroyed man with the thermonuclear warheads man like in that movie playing the fence, okay, you sitting there looking, you don't want to get involved, a lot of brothers out there don't want to preach, okay, but the Lord put it on them to preach, and they hide their talents, man, you better get out there and go preach, man, you better get out there in the elements, anything can happen, this is a sacrifice, man, okay, this is a sacrifice to bring our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they are brothers on this sign right here, straight from the Lord, God's people, God's people, man. God's people. Yasharala, 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 man. It's about Yasharala, man. It ain't about nothing else, man. It's about Yahweh Shai and Yasharala, man. This world gonna fall, man. This world gonna burn. America gonna burn. What side are you gonna choose, man? Are you gonna choose? So let's go on back to the book, Sirach. Sirach chapter 12. Sirach chapter 12 and 10. One more time. Never trust thine enemy. You jakes been trusting your enemy this whole time, man. You comfortable with the white man. You comfortable with white man Jesus. But you can get away. You can get away with everything. But when you come to serve the Lord, you how about Jimmy Shai? You ain't getting away with nothing, man. You gotta serve the real power, man. The Lord requires order. 
and sacrifice obedience. America teaches nothing but disobedience. Everything in this place is against the Lord. Somebody put that Second Thessalonians. Let me let me go to Second Thessalonians real quick. Man, I got a fiery spirit. Because the Lord ain't playing with y'all, man. Every day do if his judgments go forth, man. Every single day. And you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're the same ones in the wilderness. You're the same ones that want to go back. You're the same ones, man. The Lord gonna destroy you niggas, man. Mocking and scoffing and all this, that, and other. Everybody here, everybody just plays and plays and plays. Let's play, let's play, let's play, let's hang out, let's hang out, let's play, let's have fun. It comes a point in your life when you gotta grow the fuck up. There's a bunch of people around here, 30, 40 year olds, but they're really 14 year olds in the mind, man. Women, 30, 40 year old women, but they're really 12 year old children. This place is out of fucking order, man. This place is out of order. The kids are out of order. The kids, the women are out of order. The men are out of order. You men, you should be a fucking shame of yourself, man. You men, you whippy ass men with your weak ass, simple ass, whippy ass voice. The Lord gonna destroy you weak ass piece of shit. You whippy ass men. I hate when a fucking man talks and it sound, it sound like a little fucking girl. I hate that shit. That's America for you, Jack. That's what America turned our men into. Second Thessalonians. Two. Verses three, and it reads, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day should not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, destruction. The son of destruction, that's Esau, Edom, man. All of his strongholds got hold of you people, holding you on to dear life, and you holding on to him for dear life. But what the scriptures tell us, those who trust in him shall be thrust through. Right? You're going to be thrust through. you trusting in this man. you trusting in this system. you trusting in this government. You're going to take the chip. The Lord is trying to pull you away from this trap by sending his prophets out here. He's trying to save you from the impending danger. But like the old song, whenever I, whenever I was growing up, E-40 and them, Oh, is I, oh, is I, should I say how? I want to be saved. These people don't want to be saved, man. Let fire and brimstone rain down from the heavens. This place needs to be purged of all its iniquity, man. These people don't want to be saved, bro. Second Thessalonians 2, verse 4 again. And we talked about the white man, Esau, Edom. It says, who opposes him and exalts himself above all that is called power, or that is worship, so that he is power, sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is power. Yahweh should be our shot. And that's what you see out here with their new world order. That's what you see out here with their technology. That's what you see with all these things conditioning our people to take that MOTB, that RFID microchip. Do not take the RFID microchip because in the book of Revelation chapter 14, it tells you what's going to happen, man.
We try to warn our people. This ain't for you other people. It's only for you people on this side, man. Scriptures tell you that Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. Lord, love Israel, but we are to preach. We are to bring our people back to remembrance and get them in position that they are to be saved, man. Because it's going to be the elect, obviously. And then there's going to be an like innumerable multitude, man. So there's a lot of people out there that need to hear this word. That's why the brother's been preaching all week. Get out there and preach. Feed the sheep. Feed the sheep. Feed the sheep, man. My brothers got to tell you niggas to feed the sheep, man. My brothers got to say that to you, man. Brothers shouldn't have to go out of their way and tell you to feed the sheep. It should be in your heart, man. Feed the Lord's sheep. Second Thessalonians 2. And I'll skip down. In verse 7, it says, For the, nick the mystery of iniquity do us already work. Only you who now let us will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, with his prophets. These devils are being consumed every single day, man. Revelation chapter 11. We torment in this place, man. Just by the words, even if nobody comes up and says anything. Just by the pure words of the Lord going out is breaking these buildings down. Breaking these people's whole structure, molecular structure down, man. They can't even sleep at night, man. He saw Edith can't sleep. He know the end is near, man. That's why that Revelation 12 and 12 got to happen. He, 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 he going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he had for a short time. Okay? And I'm hot right now, boy. I'm hot. The man said, I'm jump and crack the paper and say what he had to say. It's all good, though. It's all good, though. And it says, verse 8, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Oh, man. Goodness gracious, man. Goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Karab, that's my bro. <laughs> hey. Karab in that mug, man. Hey, you see what be happening to me, man? The devil been fucking with me all day. All day, bro. I can't even get away from this damn devil, man. You see? That's how it be happening, man. That's how it be happening, man. I'm gonna have to look on. I'm gonna have to look over this a little closer, real quick. Let me pull this up over here, man. Man, I'm hyped, Rob. The water for your precepts, bro. My gun, bro. Hey, hit me up at the word, bro. My bad, man. It's been such a horrible. Woo! It's been such a horrible start to the day, bro. Man, you brothers, man, got such. You got the precepts up there, man. It's the water for you brothers. I can't even see all of them, man. Yep, those. The brother Karab said those. Those goddamn demons come out. Hold it down, a lot. Karab, man. Every time I come down here, man, them damn demons, man, they fuck with me. But they all getting, they all getting cursed, man. They all, the Lord gonna get their ass, man. That motherfucker probably ain't gonna last another few minutes, probably, man. The Lord gonna get his ass, man. He gonna get everybody, every single one of them, man. The women that fuck with us, man. The the the, the dudes, the, you know, uh, different family members that said this, that, and the other. The Lord gonna get everybody. Everybody gonna get it. Everybody gonna get it, man. Everybody got. Hey, the Lord got beef with everybody, man. He gonna get all of them. Every single one of them, man. He ain't gonna let nothing slide. So let's get into the lesson real quick, cause you, you Israelites, man, you don't, you don't, you don't want to listen to the Lord, right? Yeah, hit me up, hit me up, Mahagan, hit me up, yep, man, yep. I thought the, I thought the phone was broke, man, but through the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekab Badash, through the Lord, man, through the Lord, man. Why do Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? You know, brother suffer so much just trying to bring out this truth, man, try to show mercy to our people, man, by trying to wake them up to the name of the Lord, 
trying to get them right with the Lord. You have about Shimei Shai. You got phones falling down. That's the concrete right there, bro. <laughs> hey, that's the concrete right there, bro. That where the phone fell down there. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we 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 thankful to the Lord. You have about Shimei Shai. Okay, obviously there's different spirits working. There's different things happening. But guess what? The show must go on, man. The Lord word got to get preached, bro. Lord word got to get preached. The brother Karab got Karab got all types of the water. Karab, kind. I wish I was out there with the man. I wish you was too, man. I wish, man. It's so hard to do this shit by yourself. My God, brother, my God got got a brother out there with him. But Lord willing, the Lord bless me with a brother, maybe one day. But, hey, until then, man, I got to do this. Got to do it, man. You know? Got to bring it out, man. And I love you brothers, man. You brothers keep... You, you, you motivate me. I see how it shine, you brothers, man. You, you brothers do wonderful lessons. And you brothers motivate me, man. And y'all brothers keep it up. You know what I'm saying? And I hope this, I hope this thing... Uh, I hope this thing stays, man. You know what I mean? Lord willing. I got some notes, brothers. Police pull it up. It's always something. It's always something. It's always something. That's the police. It's always something. I'm gonna keep on rocking, man. They might be looking at something different. This is Isaiah. Yeah, they look back. They going back. Book of Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. Okay, talk about you Israelites, man. Because the thing is, man, they deep down in their mind, they know they're getting tricked. They know they're getting messed up. Like a lot of things, they, they know that, you know, this ain't right. The things that are happening in the earth, and, and they know what's going on. But like the scripture say in 2 Thessalonians chapter 9, yet though they had liberty, okay, they had liberty, right? Okay. They're going to be destroyed, man, because they had this this time to get right with the Lord, especially after C-19. The C-19, brothers, is getting right with the Lord, man. Everybody else is bullshit. Everybody else is doing everything else that they wanted to do, man. They wasn't getting right with the Lord, Yahweh, but you had certain men getting right with the Lord, trying to do what was right for the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, man. This is Isaiah 30 and 7. And it says, for the Egyptians shall help in vain, okay? Egyptians, aka Americans. Okay, all the section eight, all these things. Okay, that they, they, they're, they're going back to uh what I was reading in the book of uh Sirach chapter 12. Never trust thine enemy. Okay, you, you're not supposed to be on no section eight for no 30 years. Even though, you know, it helped a lot of our people out. But this is a trap for me, so you man. They thought, they cleverly thought these things out, man. They cleverly uh these things, what the scriptures say, uh, he is wiser than Daniel, man. So he, he's searching out everything. He's, he's 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 trying to figure out what what could tick us off, what gonna kill us, what what what's gonna you know. He's completely against Jacob, man. He's completely against Jacob. Okay. So when you trust in this devil, you trust in him in vain, because the Lord is clearly showing you, okay, who that he that he that he ruled in the kingdom of men. Okay? The Lord is clearly showing you that. Matter of fact, let me get the brother's scriptures, man. Ashra Khan, I didn't even see you up there, bro. Shalom, bro. Yeah. Man. My brothers, man. Appreciate you, brothers. Sirach 40 and 8, the brother put. Sirach 40 and 8. Let me go to that real quick. Hey, the water crop. Yeah, Bashimi El Shah Brakata. You got 40 and 8 through 9. And oh, you got 10 and 2. Chin up, Ock. It's almost up. <sighs> My God, you know how I feel right now, man. You know how I feel right now, bro. We can't wait till this shit over with, bro. We suffer, man. We need the Lord. We need a little bad, bro. We threw out here. You know, I usually go out around 12, 1. 
I couldn't even get out here. Everything was stopping me, man. So many things that are happening, man. You know, I want to keep my my schedule exact. But it is what it is, man. These are the things that you gotta go through. Uh, sir. Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. I have to think, we got to think about these scriptures often and not uh, freak out, man. To not end up fucking one of these people up. Like that, that cracker that came by earlier, man. I, you know, he getting closer and closer. He probably would have knocked that nigga out, man. And I wouldn't have wanted to, but I would have had to because if I fucking got in my space, man. That's how many demons out here, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, Romans. 8 and 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. Yeah, because we got great glory coming, bro. okay? The kingdom of heaven, okay, where, where it dwells righteousness, man, okay? A whole bunch, whole bunch of righteous acts going on, righteous acts, man, a bunch of righteous stuff going on, man, and instead of all that wicked, uh, dark shit going on, man, okay? Okay, we being groomed to be uh, uh, kings and, and great priests in the world, man. Okay, the Lord is watching every single one of us and, and purging us of those certain things that he doesn't want. And, and he, he wants to set us, he wants to set you up on the ground uh, to, 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 to rule, man. Okay, the scriptures say, what, what's the scripture say? Uh, something about uh, an expected end, right? Expected end. Let me look that up real quick. Let's one of you brothers put it up. And I thank you, brothers, for bearing with me, man. But I got, I got some more of these scriptures to roll out. This is Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil. To give you an expected end. And what's that expected end? The kingdom, man. To be ruling in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? To rule over these damn dothead town Indians at the gas stations. To rule over these crackers everywhere you see them. To rule over you motherfucking Africans. To rule over all these heathens, man. These heathens, uh, they, 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 they doing really good right now, man. And, and, and they're happy that we are uh, in derision. They're happy that our people are, are, are completely destroyed, man. Psalms chapter 2. They're happy, man. Psalms 83. Okay, they're, they're very happy that this is happening. Okay? Going back to Romans chapter 8. But it says, verse 18. For the, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Everything is waiting for us, man. That's why it's so crucial to do this work because through this work right here, we're going to be tried and purified, man. Able to sit upon thrones and judge the nations, man. This right here is going to get us to that point. Ain't nothing else going to get you there. This right here, going through this fire, going through your phone falling, going through all these things, man. People coming up and talking shit, scoffers and mockers, okay? People, they putting us on a list, talking about we uh, number six in the nation for uh, this, that, and the other, man, hate groups, okay? You got to go through that fire, man, to get to where we need to be. The Lord requires discipline, to be completely separate from this world, man. And your flesh, your flesh, it just pulls on. And it just pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls. And you just, you trying to get away from the chains, man. You're doing everything in your power to get away from the chains, man. But the Lord has a plan for you, brothers, man. 
Don't ever, don't ever think that you brothers don't matter, man. You brothers matter, man. More, matter of fact, you matter more than every other brother. Okay? You supposed to treat every brother like that's your how shot, man. You supposed to treat every brother like that's your how shot. Let me say it again. You supposed to treat every brother, man, like you looking at the Lord. I'm afraid of brothers. I'm afraid of what I might say to brothers. That's the attitude that you got to have out there, man. I'm afraid of what I might think of a brother, man. You should be afraid every single time because you never know who that man is. That man might be a mighty man of the Lord, man. And you sitting here, this, that, the other, and thoughts in your mind. You know the Lord can hear your mind. You can't get away. Always living in the fear of the Lord, man. Okay? Let me go to the book. Let me go, uh, Proverbs. This is Proverbs. Fuck it. Bear with me, brother. Actually, let's start at Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's what you see out here. Nobody fears the Lord. Everybody despises wisdom and instruction. Our people don't even look at the back of the food product that they eat. They just gobble, gobble, gobble. They don't take instruction. Okay, if somebody tells you to go to the store and get a pack of Sprite, right, or whatever, you know, get 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 a six pack of Sprite, right? They wanted a six pack, but you came back with a twenty pack because you had enough money, and you was like, "Shit, I'm gonna hook them up." But when you get back, they're like, "Why'd you get a twenty pack? I told you for a six pack," and they're upset with you, and you you're trying to reason in your mind why they're upset. Because you got more than they wanted. But they asked you specifically to get a six pack. Order. The Lord requires discipline. Listening, man. Now they mad at you because you got a 20 pack instead of a six pack. And you thought that it was going to help them. You thought that you were doing something right. But they told you specific instructions. The Lord is telling us specific instructions. He sent our apostles and elders to, to tell us specific instructions, man. Of how to live and how not to live, man. Specific instructions. That's why this world is out of course. Because these people don't know how to follow instructions. They only follow their own belt. You got Sakari. You got all these other kids. They don't know how to follow instruction. They're only doing it for their, their own self. They're only, you know, filthy lucre sake. These dudes out here, man, they don't love the Lord, nor do they fear him. And the Lord is making all that manifest. Matter of fact, let me go into some of these scriptures. We're going to get into that. I'm sorry for I'm jumping everywhere, but let me get straight to the let me get straight to the nitty gritty real quick, man. This is uh this is Isaiah. Isaiah. Let's go back to Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Let's go to Isaiah 30, and I'll go to 12. And it reads. Isaiah 30 verse 12 Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel Because ye despise this word And trust in oppression And perverseness And stay thereon Therefore this iniquity Shall be to you as a breach Ready to fall Swelling out in a high wall 
who's breaking coming suddenly at an instant. The Lord got plans for you Jakes out there, man. That ain't trying to get right with the Lord, you how about Shimmy Oshad? That seek the prophets, that know the name of the Lord, and you and you completely just disregard it. Because you were those same ones that the Lord wanted to kill off before we went into the promised land. You the same ones, you the same Negroes, man. You the same Negro Latin neighbor. You are the same people that said, I would rather go back to Egypt. I would rather go back into Egypt and trust in oppression. Let's read that again. Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression. That's you Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. You trust in oppression. You trust that the so-called white man is going to save you from every single situation. He's not going to keep on saving you niggas, man. He wants to destroy you. That's why he destroy your water. That's why he destroy your food. That's why he destroy everything. He destroys everything, man. Your children. Your kids going to school. Learning all types of perverse things. You trust in perverseness. The Lord gave you perverseness, man. Romans chapter 1. Isaiah 30 and 13. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as the priest ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, who's breaking, coming suddenly in an instant, man. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 3. And I'm going to pick this up, man. It's going to be like, bam, 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 bam. I'm going to go ahead and get it done. Chin up, Bob. Shalom to you, bro, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you saying that. You know, when we do this work, man, you know, it's all types of spirits trying to mess with us all the time, man. You know, all types of spirits try to try to get you, try to knock you off of your pivot. This is this is the battle. This is the battle, man. This is the battle that we signed up for. Okay, like like the brother uh my God was saying not too long ago, he was fighting uh he said you had fighting you, you had fought fought a demon or something like that, and I was thinking to my mind, that's why I sent you that text that one time because Hey man, that shit be happening, man. I done had experiences like that. Okay? You fight, you fight, you fight. All types of sleep paralysis dreams where you see the demon, demon sit down on, or, or it be a demon or whatever, it is, sit down on the bed, or I done seen him sit down on the bed, I done seen him open the door, I done seen him, it, you know, it'd be like a, a ghostly, it'd be like a figure, or it'd be like somebody, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it'd be something, man. I just seen all that shit, man. Scary shit that people, they ain't gonna go back to sleep. You ain't gonna go back to sleep after you've seen the shit that I see, man. You ain't gonna never go back to sleep. You'll be scared all day. Okay? The Lord been showing me that ever since I was a child. I've had, I've had, I've had thousands of sleep paralysis situations, man. Thousands, probably. Man. Ever since I was like 10 years old. All my life, even in my 30s. Now I know the name of the Lord. Now, now I can fight it a little bit more. But it was like the Lord was always working on me, trying to show me things for some reason. Okay, now I don't know if I'm a prophet or this, that, and the other, man, but I'm out here. I'm out here doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It, it, it feel like it feel like I might be, but I don't know. But one thing I do know is I'm a spiritual person, man. A lot of spiritual things have happened to me that forced me to believe in the Lord, man. Forced you to believe in the Lord. Forced me to believe in him because he was the only thing I could call on, man. There's so many situations you go through in life, that's the only thing you can call on is the Lord, man. You ain't got nothing else. To the point where right now, today, what else do we got, bro? What else is out here? The Lord took me away from everything, man. All I got is a daughter. <laughs> I ain't got no family. I mean, I got family, but. I ain't got nothing, man, besides the Lord. This is what I'm holding on to, man. It's all I got. All I got to look forward to, man. Looking at you, brothers, videos. You know? That's all I got, bro. And that's all you brothers got is each other, man. You know what I'm saying? Look out for each other, man. That's all we got, man, is each other, man. 
you got brothers, you know, brothers watching and saying shalom and, you know, th th that means a lot, man, you know? Let me get this real quick. I'm, I'm going to grab a scripture just out of nowhere. Because this is alive anyway. I got a lesson. I got a lesson plan here. But this is live, so, you know, let me, let me go ahead and get something real quick, man. Keep us a sheep. Shalom to you, brother. Shalom to you, man. Shalom. When do you brothers put up that scripture? Uh, yeah, this is First uh, Thessalonians four, and uh, it says uh, verse nine. It says, "But as touching brotherly love, but as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught." Of power to love one another. And indeed, ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Increase in this knowledge, man. Okay? Charity. Okay? Brotherly love. Those things like that cover a multitude of sin, man. You praying for the brother? The brother don't even know you're praying for him, but you're praying for him. That, that matters in the eyes of the Lord, man. All these things matter. The smallest thing, man, that you wouldn't even think would even matter. That matters, man. Well, the scripture say, uh, the scripture say, uh, uh, let me get it real quick. Things small or great. You know, you're supposed to pay attention to uh, everything, man. I think it's in the book of Sharon. Bear with me. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach 5 and 15. Right? Sirach 5 and 15. It says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So the smallest things you wouldn't even think about, man, that matters to the Lord. It should matter to you. You know, everything is spiritual with us, man. Okay? This is verse 10. Be steadfast. In thy understanding, and let thy word be the same. Okay, don't be changing the doctrine. You got all types of guys out here changing the doctrine, man. Okay, Zakari, what what kind of bug out shit is that? You got the you got the deacon saying one thing, and then you got the high priest, whatever this guy's name is, the, the dude with the hat. They got a bald spot up under. Man, we ain't scared to show our bald spot, man. We ain't afraid to be humble, man. And that's how you know the difference between the Lord's men. Okay, and the men that are, you know, pretty much just out here, uh, the wolves, man. We're not afraid to be ashamed. We're not afraid to be somebody say something to us. And, you know, I got horrible teeth, man. We, we don't give a fuck, man. Okay, I'm gonna get that shit fixed. But we don't. We're not scared to show our hair being bald. We're not scared to show that we poor. We're not scared to do any of that, man. Fuck you, people out there, man. The Lord gonna destroy you, niggas, man. Because a lot of niggas wanna turn the truth into a. Uh, a lot of these niggas want to turn the truth into a uh, hangout, an uh, Israelite party. The Lord ain't about that, man. Who did you come to see? You come to see a nigga dressed up like IUIC and, and this, that, and the other, and all pretty. And that's why th that's why I wrote this lesson, man. Because you jakes out there, you, you're you pathetic, man. You're pathetic. You're worldly. Especially you Israelite jakes. You're worldly as Israelite. And you better repent. Because the Lord ain't dealing with that worldly ass selling prayers and all this worldly ass shit, carrying guns to camp, wearing hats, saying that the white man is uh, not to be hated, saying that uh, Jacob is not loved by the Lord, man. All that shit is about to get you niggas uh, burnt on fire, nigga. You niggas gonna wake up in the midst of fire, man. Something gonna happen to you, man. And, and the Lord gonna put it on the internet and, and on news for everybody to see so, so that everybody must fear, man. The Lord gonna do that. John, St. John, and I hope that the form don't fall asleep. That's all I need is one more time. What a day, man. What a fucking day. St. 
Big Dog, Chapter 3. JT. St. John, Chapter 3. condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil you look at these people out here they love the darkness they're indulged in the darkness man but we indulged and intoxicated with the light of Yahweh 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 but everybody else around us they indulged in the darkness they covered with it like I said earlier with the lesson okay they can't get out of it Part of them. They don't know another way because the Lord cut them off from it. It says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. John 3 and 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. So they hate whenever they see you out here preaching the word, trying to bring your people back to the heavenly father. They hate that. They don't want nothing to do with that, man. They would rather you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans stay cut off from your power. Psalm chapter 2. They love that Psalm chapter 2 on your ass. They love that Psalm chapter 2 on your ass, boy. Okay? They love that. It says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. And who's the light? Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? Our Savior. That his deeds, it says, uh, He that cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So, hey, Jake ain't gonna get it. Jake ain't gonna never wake up, man. Okay? Unless the Lord wants it. Let's go back to Isaiah. Isaiah back to 30 and 12. Isaiah 30 and 12. And it reads. No, I already got that. It's locked. Let's go to Isaiah 29 and 9. Isaiah 29 and 9. It says, Stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They staggered. But not with strong drink. Because they because they, they, they minds is messed up with the philosophies and the the, 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 the the culture and everything of America, man. This American white man Jesus spirit, man. Okay? That's what it is. It says This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. It says, whew. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, it says verse 10, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. That's what you see these people, they're, they're, they're deep in their sleep, man. They're knocked the fuck out. Yeah, smack the fuck out of them. Bitch, wake up. Smack the fuck out that bitch. Okay, so Smack the hell out. I mean, we smacking the hell out of them with these scriptures. Okay, we don't need to be carnal and hit somebody for real. But it's actually the Lord smacking the hell out of you trying to tell you to wake up, man. Okay? Like the book of Hebrews tells us, man, this word, okay, is sharper than any two-edged sword. Okay, so this word hit, man. This shit hurt. To hit them, man. That's why they try to get rid of the scriptures. That's why they're going to try to get rid of the scriptures. The family of the word is approaching. Because this word hit. So many faggots and shit out here, man. Yeah, that's it. It's a faggot. I'm tired of you fucking people, man. It says, stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out. And cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words. Isaiah 29 and 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. 
which man delivereth to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. So you guys are all blinded, man. King David prayed over, over prayed to the Lord to blind you motherfuckers too. Okay? Isaiah 29 and 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Okay? Their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. And what's the precept of men? What are they teaching these churches? Man? They teach you to love everybody. Well, the Most High, he's about love to his people, but he don't love everybody, man. The Lord don't love everybody. He only loves Israel, man. He only loves his people. Okay? So this book, these scriptures, is only for the elect. Ain't nobody else going to really understand this. You got people in the world that still believe the devil is a, a serpent. And, 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 and a serpent, like for real. They believe that the serpent in the garden was a real serpent. They believe that the one you call Jesus Christ is, 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 is the most high. All these uh, cunningly devised fables. They believe everything that's against the Lord, man. The Lord clearly tells you about reincarnation. Christians don't believe in reincarnation. They don't teach you that. The Lord clearly tells you about reincarnation. Let's go to it. that sign you got four fathers your fathers any of your fathers go back here Did any of those people on there well, you were just speaking about how it's all allegory right it's what allegory allegory yeah it's uh it's not meant to be taken super literal you know what like the serpent yeah right yeah. it's not meant to be taken absolute yeah it's, it's, a, it's a mystery yeah. a mystery mystery it's only for the left a lot of people Only the elect are doing it. Why only the elect? Because the Lord says it right here. Let's go to the book. Let's go to the book. Yeah, because the Bible is only for the elect of these people. Everybody else don't understand the scriptures, man. Everybody else don't understand it, man. Okay? That's everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Let me go to one scripture. I'll pull you up one scripture real quick. One, 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 one scripture. Just one. That's all I'm going to give you one, and I'm going to get back to my lesson, brother. But you might be on that sign. Which one are you, man? Are you are you one of those? Do your forefathers go back? What are you? I'm not sure if I'm on that sign. Now. Well, what's your father's heritage? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. So your grandfather? So, is heritage all that God cares about? Yep, that's all he cares about. Why? Because that's who he is. Why? Where does it say that? It says it all through the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah. Do you know about the Bible? Yeah. Well, what are you read, talking about then? Huh? I have read. What are you Christ. talking about then? What are you talking about then? I'm talking about Jesus Christ. No, I'm not talking about Jesus. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's not the God of the Bible. Uh, so you're Jesus, speaking, you're speaking I'm speaking the real Bible. The Hebrew Bible. I'm speaking, your Bible, the Hebrew Bible, ain't eh? Well, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So what are you sure. talking about? So I'm speaking oh, the same thing, right? Also, I would never claim it to be my Bible. Well, the Bible that you read is a Hebrew Bible. It's not an American Bible. 
Trump wishes it was an American Bible, doesn't he? You know. Oh, but Trump! Oh, you talking about because yeah, he made them Bibles? He he's trying to make money <laughs> off the fucking Constitution. He's a, he's a joke. All he, these people he are is jokes. A joke, ain't he? Anyway, he's I'm gonna give you a scripture. It says, uh, Matthew chapter 13 and 11. It says, and he answered and said unto them, "This is in the New Testament, because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but yes. to them who it is not given." So, who is he talking about? It is given to you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. So people, everybody can't understand these scriptures. Mm-hmm. It's only his elect that's gonna understand what's going on in this Bible. Where does he say the elect? Oh man, let me let me get let me look. What? You been in the church this long? How long you been in the church? Oh, I wouldn't I would not take any of the churches here. I let do not let me get Psalms real quick. Huh? Sure. Psalms. Let me get a Psalms real quick. Psalms. Yeah, Psalms. Oh, what? sure. Yeah, you don't believe like I believe, man. You just, you just, you, and, and that's okay. Oh, that's no, okay. No. It's nothing wrong with that. It's just a difference here. There's, a, there's a clear difference here. Don't, don't. Well, you, you believe, but you, 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 you believe in, you don't understand that Jesus, that name, you got to have the right name. You can't call him Jesus. I mean, his actual name was more like Jeshua, but yeah. His name is Yahweh Shai. In, in the Paleo Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. In in the Hebrew in the Paleo Hebrew translation I've read, read, which is the translation the uh, written by the the what? Well, so I do my best to keep this true to the original work, as you're saying, the Paleo Hebrew. Yep. Right. And so the Bible from which I read, many would call it more academic, scholarly. But it is written by the people who took the oldest by the translations. People. The oldest translations. No, it is not the written Bible by is the written Europeans. by the people and for the people. Yes, exactly. For the people of who, though? The Israelites. Are you an Israelite? I don't know. Well, the Bible ain't for you if you're not an Israelite. Only the Israelite. This, the Bible is only for these people, man. Like so I just read you in Matthew 13 and 11. The mysteries of the kingdom... Oh, the mystery of the kingdom, meaning the, the, the Bible is only written for the Israelites. It's only given to the Israelites. Why do you think people in your churches... Do you go to church, right? No, not particularly. I but don't. you just read? Oh, no, I read, and I believe. But I consider myself a Christian, and I, Christianity is more like Euro church. You know what I mean? Euro is through. Yeah, they... The That's Europeans, it through, man. They took it, and they polluted it. That's it through, bro. Yeah. This is Psalms 147 and 19. And it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob. Now, who's Jacob? Who's Jacob? Do you know who Jacob is since you you said you're a Christian, right? I don't recall every moment. Every much. Well, Jacob, his name was turned to Israel. Which, yes. These are Israelites. Yes. Right? He wrestled the angels. Remember that? Yes. Okay. So it says, Psalms 147. In 19, he show of his word, talking about the Most High, show of his word. What's his word? The scriptures. The word is the scriptures, right? The scriptures are written by men. But doesn't the scriptures say that the word is written of him? Book of John, right? Right. What is that? While you may write what No, appear, no, 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 no. Whoa. We talking about straight I facts here. I will speak straight facts. <laughs> we gonna speak you straight facts. You may write down what an apple looks <laughs> we like, but no one facts. will tell you what the color red is. You what, can write... What's, it, what's, it, what, what's red mean? What is that? Exactly. I can say the word red, but that doesn't mean anything until you see that sign and say, that is red. We but, agree. That is red. That's right. Facts. And that, which we may agree, which that we gonna, is the logic, the logos. Well, what about the Bible? Whenever you see the words and it says this, he shows him his word onto Jacob. Is that not a fact? Uh, it so says it right there. Hold on. an allegory in the same way listen, the serpent listen, listen, listen. is an allegory. No, 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 no. no. Why is That's this easy. different? That's Why easy. is this different? That's Why? easy. No, pull to me this is this a fact. truth. This is a fact. Yes. He shows his say, word that onto say. Jacob. Who, who is Jacob? He shows his word onto Jacob. Who is Jacob? Okay, so are you an Israelite? I don't know. Okay, where do you get this? This is the book of 
Ezekiel chapter 37. Uh, and he speaks about the Americans. He speaks about a plank being put together with these people on it, the northern and southern kingdom. Okay? Of the Americans, really. Americans, most of these people in America are Israelites, dude. And yet, and yet. Do you know the first ship? Really? Do you know the first ship? So, slave so, ship that came over here was the good ship Jesus, right? The good ship Jesus. Under Jesus Christ, our people on this side have been tormented in this country. Under Jesus Christ. Columbus. By, Columbus. By the Euro. Columbus. By the Euro. So, so yes. this goes Absolutely. back. This goes back, man. That's what no, I'm talking about. No, I know. About. This goes back. Oh, the Columbus. This goes back, man. Poor you know, kids. Let's get another one. This goes back, Poor. man. This goes back. This, yes, is, yes. this is only for Israelites, man. Yeah. Okay? This is not for anybody else. Semantics. Yeah, yeah, I don't even want to mess with it, really. The brother put up Matthews 12 and 50. Who, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother, my sister, and my mother. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. I got brothers on there, you know, listening. But to be honest with you, man, you know, I ain't going to deal with The truth is, man, the scriptures is only for Israel. And you, you are an Israelite if you believe in the scriptures wholeheartedly, if you believe in the name of the Lord. If you believe that his name wasn't Jesus back then, because it couldn't have been. When, of course not. When no, was, that's... Okay, so why don't people call him by his real name? Exactly. Why don't, why don't people Aside. store uh, Aside. thunder, you know? People, no. people hey, say, cool. say that you went to school, right, and your kids went to school 15 years later, and you, you won all types of track competitions, you look like a track star. I don't know, you might be a track star. Oh, I, I never played but, track. But, you know, you, you your kids went to school and they seen your picture up there, but it was a black face instead of a white face. Sure. Okay. So, so, so now, okay, and then they went home to you and they was like, Dad, I seen your picture, I seen your name, but it was a different person. What you gonna do after that? Aren't you gonna be upset about that? Why would I be upset? Why wouldn't you be? Because it's your legacy. Okay, our Lord whoa, is a black whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, how, how dare is a black you assume man. I am prideful to think that my legacy, no, that is pride. The sir. Lord is about pride. The Lord is about his people. The Lord is a black man. He ain't no fucking white dude, okay? Which these Christian churches try to preach to you. So That's you, what I'm saying. You, you so if you go, pride? I preach the you, Lord. The I greatest the Lord. sin of all, pride? It's, you, it's not the Lord prideful violence. about his people. It's, pride brings violence. Is that right, I gotta calm down. I gotta, wanted? See, listen. No, I, you don't I know understand. the Lord. You don't know the Lord. The Lord is about His people. He has pride for these people. Okay. What did I just read to you? Let me read it again. Psalms one forty-seven and nineteen. He showed His word unto Jacob, His statutes and His judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. That's pride. Is that pride? No. Yeah, it is. How is it not? Jacob's the first to hear it. No, 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 no. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Not anybody else. Anybody Before else. That, everybody else who thinks they know the Bible, they don't understand the scriptures, man. Read that scripture again. What did he say? He said, He showeth his word to unto nation. Jacob. To his statues other. and his judgments unto Israel. Yes. He have not dealt so with any nation. By the fact, that point. that's pride. He counted the Upon other nations as spirit. Nation. And yet, what Let's get these? another one. Let's get another one. Sure. Because you're just up here, like you're messing up my lesson. You're not going to understand this because you're oh, one of those whoa, people whoa, out there, whoa. man. No, you're not going to understand it. Point blank period. You're not, gonna, you're not an Israelite. You are, you, are, you, are, you are Edomite, dude. You're you an assume, Edomite. You assume me. This is a book. You assume me. That is violence. How dare you? Hey, man, the Lord is, is violent. The Lord is violent. Is violent. The Lord is violent. The Lord is violent. The Lord is violent. He is not man, just. Don't make. Violence is that which is on. Don't make me pull a scripture out real quick, bro. You don't even know the Lord, bro. You don't, don't know, know the Lord at all. Really? You don't know the Lord. You say the Lord is not violent? Did you just say that? Matter of fact, you can get out of here, bro. Because we ain't got nothing to talk about. That is the greatest violence. All right, let's show you this right quick. I'll show you one more scripture, and then you can go. This is the book of Isaiah. You think that you 40, may speak to me? 45. No. Yeah, you may not speak to me like this, and then ignore me. 
That is the greatest violence. Listen, the to Lord ignore don't like someone everybody. is the greatest violence you may get. The Lord give. don't like everybody. It is that which I kills. I tried to see if you're an Israelite, but you're not, so you gotta go, man. Ignorance is what brings the seven war. I this formed man. the light and create darkness. The Lord is saying this. Man this man brings a I you make peace death. and create evil. The Lord said, I create evil. The Lord creates evil. Don't you know the Lord creates the devil? The Lord created the devil. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? So you believe in the Christianity, right? But you don't, don't know the Bible? In the devil. The devil as an absolute? The devil is the an Lord allegory. And the, the same way the serpent is an allegory, as you just said. He creates the, 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 the devil. evil. He creates the Isaiah evil. Isaiah 45 it is an allegory. I formed the light. It is an allegory. Listen, brother, listen, brother. I form the light brother. and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord said he do all these things. Yes. Matter of fact, let me go to the book. Let's go back to the book of Matthews. And, 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 and actually, but let's is he the, arbitrary? Let's go to the book of Job. Let's go to the book of Job. Is he arbitrary? I'll show you how the devil is on the side of the Lord. Do you believe that Satan and, 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 and the Lord is against each other? Like Christians do? The devil do? is on the side of the Lord. Man, if you don't know that, you got to go, bro. You got to go. You truly you are gotta lost. Go. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You are so Get out of lost. Here, man. Get out of here, bro. You got to go, bro. You are the... I don't even want to teach you the future, bro. Right and that is the you don't know that? You want That's what's wrong with y'all. Conversation. No, I want to stop it because you 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 don't even know that the Lord and, and Satan are on the same team. So teach me. All right, I'm gonna teach you. I thought it's not teach. what you preach. Well, if I'm gonna teach you, then you're gonna have to listen. I do listen. Okay. And then well, I retort. The thing is, first you, and foremost, are you first infallible, foremost, sir? Are you infallible? I don't even know what the fuck that means, bro. That means that you cannot be proven wrong. You are always correct. No, are you I'm always wait. correct? Oh, hell no. And but this is you correct. know that you are correct? This is correct. I'm not You are speaking, speaking the scripture. I'm not speaking myself. I'm speaking the scripture. Yes, you are speaking the All scripture, right, but you out. are interpreting it. This is how Christians are. You look, Listen to this guy, man. Send that bitch up the street. Waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out the street. No. You gotta go. No. You are in a I'll read place. one more. Job You one. do not control Job this one. area. Well, this, How dare you well, stay your ass right there and hit, and hit these shall, scriptures, dude. Hit and I shall scriptures. speak to you and speak to you. You ain't going to speak nothing to me. Right? Why? Because you. you're a devil, man. Job you one. You are ignorant. I speak Job to you and you one and eight. me. And the Lord said unto Satan. Actually, Job one and six. Job Mother, one and six. Listen. Not that. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. So you don't know the book of Job? It says, now there was a day when the sons of God, so who are the sons of God? The angels, everybody the sons of God, right? This is in heaven. No, this is in heaven, right? And there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord. So why is the Lord and Satan talking if people think that the Lord and Satan are against each other? It says, then Satan answered the You are the Lord. against me and you speak no, to not. me. Then Satan answered the Lord. But you just Lord. said that you shall ignore are me. You gonna listen? Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? Are you going to go? Will you let me speak? No, I'm not going to let you speak. That is the greatest violence. If you, you, got, a Bible, silence if you got a Bible, you can, you can speak. That is the greatest. Matter of fact, I'll give you a Bible. I'll go get, no, I'll go get I'll my Bible. Bible. I'll give you a Bible. Sure. I'll, I'll see give you a Bible you, you bring. I'll which you, Bible is this? I'll give you all three of my motherfucking Bibles. If you can and which Bibles wrong. are these? Right? King James Version. Look at them. King a James Popper, Version? Popper. King James? You preach to the King James? Listen to this you devil. You fool. <laughs> what is this wrong guy called me a fool. You brought, you preach. King James, James is a black man. Okay? He ain't no fucking homophobic. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. It's all good. James made famous people good. that broke that version were lying. Hey, the Lord gonna destroy they, you devils, they man. They have an incentive. They have an inventive vendetta. I'll try They hey. were Euros. The devil. You are it's preaching control. from a European, and you preach against Europeans? No wonder you're Europeans. confused. Fuck the European, man. Exactly. Fuck the European. I'm exactly. Fuck the Europeans. I'm, exactly. an fuck the Europeans. I'm an Israelite, bro. I'm an Israelite. I'm not no African American. I'm not no Negro. I'm a fucking Israelite. Shit. I am that. If who that's are you? What do you mean? Who are you? Then yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Because you Go believe in the up. Bible. I trust you. That's you why I speak you don't believe to you. me about it. No, I speak to you because I see that if you can show me something in the fucking Bible, then we can talk. If you can't, then you need to go, bro. I want If you can't show me something, since you said that you love the Bible, if you can't show me what I'm telling you is false, then you gotta go. 
If you can't listen to the words, then you gotta go. This is not my word. This is that word. I can go to every one of these Bibles. Into your word. This is the word of the Lord, bro. Nothing that I've spoke today. I've been out here for like an hour. I ain't spoke none word from myself, man. I speak from the scriptures. Right? The Lord kills and makes alive. The okay? The Lord is for Israel. And Israel Translations were made. No, we know the truth. You don't know the truth. Why That's do you why you're upset. You do not know the truth. You because do not you're know upset. me. You say you know me, but you do not. Bro, I tried you to prove You must listen to your brother to know your no, brother. No, I tried to prove Listen, you think that listen, you know everything, listen, and yet let me what you say, you see? I tried to prove your spirit, but your spirit was not right. How do you know? Because you're not an Israelite. So you have to be in You're the, not an Israelite. You're, that is very you're plan not. thinking. I don't give a fuck. The Lord is great. That is the greatest violence. Well, who gives a fuck? The Lord is violent. Because it, the Lord is violent. He gonna fuck everybody up around here. You want me to read you a scripture about that? Okay? Y'all think y'all fucking you, playing. You want this to be Sodom? This is this Sodom. Go? I know. We live in fucking this Sodom. Sodom. And dude. what will you do? You, you will make it worse no. by bringing upon us violence. No. So we you must save so you're, the you're, people. You're basically coming after the prophet for preaching the word of the Lord, like back in the days when they always. I am not the going after the prophet. Why are you saying this? You're going to bring destruction upon us. Well, the Lord sent the prophets. Don't you see a prophet they out sent here them to save the people okay. from that? To save the well, tribe if of they Israel. didn't listen, like you're not listening. I, you were the same people back then. You're not. You're listening. the one that's trying. You're to You're not speak. listening, and the prophets are sent. I'm not the only one that you see. I know you see somebody else in another city. Or something. You've seen us out here. I, I You've do, seen us. I do not know your sect. I do not know. Uh, we ain't no sect. Saying. We just Hebrew Israelite. That's all we are. All right. You've seen us. That's why you came up here. I came up here because it felt like the right thing to do. The Lord sent you. Yes. That's what I believe. The Lord sent you up here to get this word, to understand, but you're going against it. And that's okay. How do you know the Lord did not send me to save you? Ain't nobody getting saved. How are you going to save me? You're trying to save me? What? So you're not you, trying to no, save me? No, I'm not trying to no, save you. No, so you're a Lutheran. Dude, so you, you believe all people are already this damned. How, this is how all these people are. They talk a lot, but they don't make no motherfucking sense. I you do not know these terms. You know That's about. your issue. You do not know the story. You, about, young man. you only know Get the out of Bible. My face, you do not guy. listen. You're just exactly. a young guy. You want to stop you're just hearing a young me. guy, man. You, you, you're too little oh, for me, bro. I am too you're young for boy. you. You little boy, man. You, you, you're doing too much. You're and yet I much. speak words that you do not know, bro. And I am the young. I don't care about you. I care about these words. If you can speak something out of this, then you can talk to me. I will not Here. use those Bibles. If you can speak something, I will something, not use bro. the Bibles of Europeans. Get the fuck up the street there, bro. I will only speak. This is Matthew 10 and 34 in a red letter. The red in the letter. red letter. Our yes. Lord. The red letter which the Europeans brought upon us not. to force us to read Think certain not. scriptures. Then I come to send come. peace on the earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter against her father-in-law, and a man's falls shall be they of his own household. So, so everybody who says that Jesus Christ is coming to save everybody, it clearly tells you that he come not to bring peace, but a sword. A sword. What's a sword do, bro? A sword to cut down the evil. Are you not, think that's are literally not, are killing? Not, yeah, you literally. think that's literally killing? It's no. all allegory, as you said, with the I'm serpent. The it's the allegory. No, no, it's, it's not, figurative. It's not no, it's no, real. you cut down the evil. So you say evil it. is thought. Let's the devil it. does let's, not exist. Let's, let's he is the way it. of thinking. He is the all selfish. Right. You need to back up, bro. You see, yo, you yell listen, at me, listen, and then listen, I may listen, not listen, speak listen. with passion to no, you. No, no, this is this is my this is my uh, you know, this is the altar, man. You up here cursing out the Lord. You fighting against the Lord right now. You don't even Do know. I curse? Have I cursed? You cursing against the Lord. How? I preach the, the Lord. What's a curse? A curse is that which you vow for destruction of. You hope the worst of. I want the best for the Lord. I want the people here to realize but their the people, vows. The people aren't going to. Their flaws. The Lord is only coming for these people. These people. Not everybody. Every man that hears the word and understands the words of Jesus is saved. Ain't no as such it thing says. as no motherfucking Jesus, bro. Didn't I just tell you the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai? 
Sure. The letter J. Oh, shy. The letter J wasn't created until what? 1524. Look it up on sure. your phone. You it got an iPhone, matter. right? It, it does. doesn't matter. It does matter. It does matter. The Get the fuck out of here, then. Get the fuck what out of here, bro. Is the, Get the fuck out of here. of the story. No, it's no. an allegory. It matters his name. If you went back to school 15 years later and they changed your fucking name and they had your picture up there. Why would I care? That would be prideful. Because. You care what my because, name is? Is pride. Because. Is to look at myself and say, I'm important. The one I am not the important. Earth, the heavens and the earth. He cares, man. Why he cares. would he care? We are sheep. Look we you. are sheep. He is our shepherd. You're not a sheep. We, man. to him, to him, we are sheep. A sheep man. He called you. You're, you're not a sheep. He called Let me get us. us. She called you, man. We are both sheep. No, you're not. If you're not we an Israelite, you're not sheep. none of these, bro. Yes, no, we not. are. Prove it to me in the Bible, then. Prove to me that you're a sheep if you're not an Israelite. The Lord. The Lord if you're not an Israelite, shepherd. you're not. So the Lord is my shepherd. Who's shepherd? Who's shepherd? Let's the Lord the is my Man. shepherd. Chapter one. Let's he is your thing. shepherd. He is all people's shepherd. All you people are just through. You Christians are through. We don't want to deal with you, man. You Christians are through. He ain't for everybody. You don't think I believe in Hebrew? Hebrew? Who you don't think I believe in the Muslim? You didn't look it up? You the didn't look it up? the towel? In James the Buddhist, 1. I believe in them all. James 1. Oh, God. James 1. So look, read, read James 1 with me. Turn to James 1. Sure. James in 1. Your King James. Yeah, exactly. James 1. James 1 and 1. Where is James? Go oh, on. Insult me again. Go on. Bible jam, oh, oh, insult James me again. And 1. Insult me again. Eh? A insult. servant of God and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. To the twelve tribes, which are scattered abroad, greeting to the twelve tribes. He didn't say everybody else. He said to the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse tributations. Mm. My brethren, when his they brethren, lose their path, his brethren. Yes, when they lose their path, they to the twelve to tribes back. of Israel, not for everybody, man. Everyone. The Bible ain't for everybody. Jesus is a brother. The Bible ain't. Why? Because the Lord says no. No, he did not. There's Jesus. Bro, you got a Bible and you don't even know the Bible, bro. It says James. Sure. Chapter 21. James, a servant of the Most High Yahweh. That's his name. It's not God. Yahweh. God is a title. Yahweh. Sure. And I just gave you that. Maybe sure. you are an Israelite because I shouldn't have gave you that. But, uh, but my, no, so, you probably so not. You are not, so prideful as Israelite. to hide information. You're not you an Israelite. You're so prideful. Devil. James, to hide it from James one and one. You are one. not a preacher. James one and one. James, the servant of the Most yes. High Yahweh, mm -hmm. and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who they call Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Yes. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience, but let patience have her perfect work. Because this is a trying of our faith. You coming up here saying that uh, salvation is faith. for everybody. Salvation ain't for everybody, but for the Jews. What the Lord is saying. Salvation say? is not for everyone, nor is it for the Jews. It's a sport for all that understand. No, man. Only Israelites can understand. Why? Because it's for them. This is, Why? This is FUBU. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. What you keep saying, what you keep saying is that only the Israelites will understand. Why will only the Israelites understand? Because, take this out, John 4. Oh! John 4. Now it's not here at 21. It says, Yahweh Shai saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this valley nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye know not Ye worship, ye worship, ye know not what. We know that we worship what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Okay, and who were the Jews, man? Can you tell me that? It's the northern, the, the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, those are the southern kingdom. Jew Israel, is, the Jews, Israel, Israel is, that, is the that northern follows. kingdom. follows. Not the Israelites. Israelites. That is not the Israelites. That is the Jew. That is he who follows the Bible. Those guys in, in our land. That is the Hebrew. Those guys, are, they're not the real Jews. Over here. Maybe. Maybe you are. Oh, yeah. We, we are. How would I know? Through you claim spirit. to be. Through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. Yes, exactly. But the Spirit has not told me yet. Well, because you're not an Israelite. 
But this man has told me so much. He has told me about the evil of the Europeans, but he has not told me about the it's not Israelites. Just, it's not only just, the Israelites, nor yeah. do I know if I'm an Israelite. And but yet, you but would God, know if you would know. You would know. I would know. Why? How? How I'll would know? You, how would it I'll be? Show you. I'll show you. Who is born would know? I'll show you, bro. Because not all white people, not all Chinese. There's Chinese Jews. Mm -hmm. There's white Jews. Yep. There's Mexicans. There's that, all of us yep. everywhere. Yep. Diaspora. You know about diaspora, right? Yeah. You say you really I asked, what's about the diaspora? Di the we were diaspora spread, we were spread, spread everywhere. Spread out. Yes. And they we had diaspora. Babies. We had babies with people. Yes. And we did all these things, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're spread everywhere. So you might look white, or you might look black, or Chinese, or Mexican, or some kind of jungle animal, or whatever. Not animal, but people. <laughs> but, you know, just trying to have a laugh. But you are an Israelite because your fathers go back to that. It's not about your mother. It's about your father. Why is okay? it only about your father? Because the scripture says that. So you have the Bible and you don't even know the scripture. You got to go, bro. You, keep you got to go, bro. He got to go. He got to get the fuck out of here. He don't even know that it's according to your father's, man. His kitty hurts. <laughs> you got to go, bro. I'm sorry, man. You this good. guy, this guy is great. Don't don't look at no, my no, don't look no. at don't I'm don't look at my shit. You. Hey, you no, you're not. You're backing you. up, man. Because you you I'm might trying to you might be an Edomite, you're man. <laughs> no, you're not my fucking brother, bro. Oh no, you're not my brother. In my in my view, right? All who hey, follow God and th do th their that's best the problem with America. Brothers. In my view, in my heart, fuck your heart, fuck your view. It's about what the Lord say, bro. It's about what the Lord say. If you can't open the scriptures, bro, and tell me something, then you gotta go, man. Please, bro. Please just get out of here. Please, please man. I'm begging I, you, bro. I'm begging you, man. I, I fucking beg you. I you may get you. down, I beg you to leave me the fuck alone, man. In the name of the Lord, you have about you shot. Leave me alone, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go. Please go, man. When please just and that, hey, just don't no, no prize or nothing. That. No, I'm just, not just leave, leave, man. Just leave. That would be selfish to cry. No, no, not said pride. No pride. Oh, just leave. Yeah. Just, just leave me alone. Bro. No, in all honesty. No, like, crying. In all honesty. Self hey, look me in the eye, bro. Yes. Just please leave me alone, bro. I understand. Leave me alone. I shall leave. Okay. Thank, Thank you, bro. Do you want me to bring a Bible? I just tried. To, please just leave me alone. I'm not going to read those Bibles. Just leave me alone. Bro. I'm going to bring my Bible. Just, just leave, leave me alone. Bro. Okay. One more time, please. Just leave me alone. Bro. That's all you got. He is a wise man. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I pray for you. Don't pray for me, man. Don't pray for me. Pray for your bitch. Like Dolph said. Don't pray for me. Don't pray for me, bro. Pray for somebody else, man. Brother, cross the side by the water, brother. The spirit itself bears witness, but our spirit, he didn't even let me get it, bro. <laughs> And I gotta work on that being better at uh, interacting, you know. There's a bunch of demons out here, man. You know, it's, it's, you know, these people don't worship the Lord, and that's what you gotta get. See, they try to plant. Uh, it'll be like a, you know, devil just blocking you out and shit. You know, trying to block you out, man. No, man, no, no. This word gotta go for it, man. You know, you done fucked up the whole scriptures, bro. You done fucked up the whole scriptures. He, he an Edomite, man. He ain't no fucking Jake. He ain't one of us. Fuck that cracker, man. Okay. Like I said, look me in my eyes, man. You gotta go, man. I knock your punk ass out of here. You know, we don't want no beef, man. We don't want no trouble, man. We, we're not carnal, man. But you sitting up here going against the words. I, I hand him the scriptures a few times. Show me where the scriptures. Show me in the scriptures. Show me in the scriptures. Show me in the scriptures. Cracker motherfucker got to go, man. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. You know what I'm saying? We done with you damn devils, man. We tired of you, man. May the Lord destroy them motherfuckers, man. May the Lord destroy them, man. Pray, man. Pray the Lord destroy these motherfuckers, man. Pray the Lord destroy him, man. Brother got Proverbs 28 and 1, right? Con, con. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Con, bro. You see? Yeah, man. They, you know, knocking me off my whole pivot and shit, man. But I've been going long enough anyway. 2 Corinthians, the brother put up Mawath 2 out of 1. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, man. Like I told him, you know. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, just go, man. Just go. Just go, man. Just leave me alone, bro. Just leave me alone. 
And it's millions and millions and millions of them, man. That's why we need the Lord Yahweh Shah, man. We need our Malak. Because these fucking devils are everywhere. We surrounded, man. We're surrounded by wickedness. Everything is out of order. Everything is out of place. Everything is against us, man. I know you brothers feel it, man. I know you brothers feeling that that that, that fire. This it, it, it's almost like the siege on Jerusalem, man. Everything is around us. Every every everything around us is surrounding us, and it's a bunch of fire, and it's it, it's trying to burn us up, man. We we basically uh in the state of uh, uh Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, man. That's what we going into, man. Everything is against you, brothers, man. Okay? Yeah, he didn't knock me off my lesson, man. Let me get a few more from here, man. He didn't knock me off of my lesson. Let me, let me skip over, man. Let me skip over here. Actually, this is a book. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. And it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob, man. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of the and the house of Israel shall be shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall rule. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors hey the kingdom is coming man you devils man we gonna we gonna put all you motherfucking devils you heathens we're gonna put you into slavery okay and you and, and you're gonna build this you're gonna build our you're gonna build the kingdom man. you're gonna build our roads you're gonna build everything man okay you're gonna be in subjection we're gonna be able to hear your thoughts all that you ain't gonna be able to get away with nothing man okay and we're going to beat you to powder every single time you even think of having a thought of going off, man. We can't even wait till you do. We're going to be we gonna be debating with each other. No, I got him this time. No, I got him. I'm going to tell Mawaf. No, no, Mawaf. No, Mawaf. No, me, me, me. Let me go, bro. You got him last time, Mawaf. No, Karab. No, Karab. You can't have him. I want him this time. The scriptures say, thou shalt meditate terror, man. You got kill Gates, kill Gates. Yo, we gonna be tossing his ass around. No, no, uh, uh, Karab. No, you ain't having them today. I'm, just, just let me get a piece of them. Let me get a piece of them. Karab knocking on the door in the middle of the night. No, hey man, let me get. I, I got, I got. Hey, I'm fiending, man. I gotta hit this nigga a few more times. We gonna be tearing you people up, man. Anyway, with that, man, I like to say Shalom, man. I'm too high right now. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakwadash. I like to say double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace of salutation to the hopeful elect. Okay, to you brothers out there making your body a living sacrifice, I like to say Shalom to you brothers, man. Yeah, Magan, hey, hey, and then Magan gonna come and he gonna be he gonna be knocking on Karab door trying to get Kill Gates and uh, Noah Harari and uh, Charles Carl Swab. Okay. He gonna be trying to knock on their door and shit. And Karab will be like, nah, let me get a few more hits in. Let me get a few more hits. We gonna be tearing their ass up, bro. On everything, bro. Hey, Shalom to you, brothers, man. Stay hard, man. Stay hard, bro. Shalom. Stay hard, bro. God dang it.